Hi, welcome back to Paige Gross Design. I have another outdoor entertaining project today. It's seashell napkin rings. And I designed them to go with a set of plates that I made on, or had made on shutterfly.com. I used images from a book from my childhood. I scanned the back page and then used the kaleidoscope effect in Print Shop Deluxe to make these plates. And then I wanted to uh, make napkin rings to go with them and my sister had given me a whole, um, whole little container of seashells that she'd picked up at the beach over vacations. And so I took those and to do this project you will need 0 0.05 millimeter waxed hemp or waxed cotton, a pair of pliers, jewelry jump rings, two inch welded O rings, I'm using wood clamps to hold my O rings. Assorted seashells, one for each napkin ring, a few tiny beads to finish off the ends of the macrame cord when you're finished, and um, to drill the, the seashells, it's best to use a diamond bit, uh, use a drill or a dremel tool, and you can use a regular bit, um, but you'll lose a lot of seashells, they'll break in the process. It's best to use a diamond bit shaped like that. Now I have already drilled my seashells and put two jump rings on it. You'll need a larger jump ring to attach to the um, napkin ring itself. And you'll take that, you'll take six yards of the waxed hemp, cut it, cut the six yards in half. You'll use two three yard pieces to uh, knot onto the welded O ring. You're gonna find the center of that, center of that string and tie it to the O ring. Just a single single knot. And then from there it's just a square knot which is first side goes over the ring to the other side. The other string then goes over that string under the ring and through the, the uh, loop on the other side. And then you're just gonna alternate that same exact thing left to right. So this time you're gonna start with the left. Right over, right side over the ring. Left side over the, that string and under the ring and through the loop on the other side. This time it is the left string over the top of the ring, the left string over that, or the right string over that string, under the ring and through the loop on the other side. And eventually, we'll fill the whole ring and I have one finished. And you're just gonna make a square knot. So right over left. Left over right. 
and then that knot won't come undone. Now what I do, is it's best to have that knot on the inside where you don't see it, and so I just twist it, the whole thing around, now the knot's on the inside. And you'll simply attach your seashell. Put it back in the vise here. This handy little ring came with this set of jump rings that I just ordered from Amazon. It's the first I've ever used this little tool, but it is very handy. It holds your jump ring so that you can open it up. You're going to end up needing it open fairly wide to slip this on here. Now you'll take that seashell that already has the two jump rings attached. You're going to slip it on that larger jump ring. It would help if you put it on the right side. And make sure that jump ring is nice and tight. Now, what I did was I took all of my loose cords and I trimmed them down. You're going to take it to the side where this is naturally falling with the, the shell to the top. And I fed all four of those loose ends of macrame cord, wax cotton, wax hemp, whatever you're using. And I threaded them down through that center jump ring. And then from there, I knotted on a few beads. You can put two on each one. One up closer to the middle of the string. I'm having a hard time seeing the. I think I need my glasses. So the furthest down that you should place the beads is probably about two inches. You know, you'll want to trim off the excess. Oh, sorry.
And what you'll be left with is a napkin ring that looks like that. I hope you enjoyed the project and I hope you come back in the future. Have fun this summer. Bye.